Hey guys, it's the Bling Gypsy. So I had a request to uh, show you guys how to um, set up your online storefront through Comet Sold. Um, and it's not hard, but it's got quite a few steps that you gotta take before it's set up. Um, and you do need to create some kind of graphics for your uh, buttons and your banners for your storefront, okay? Because it does not come with it. All right, so the first thing you got to do is you got to set up uh, collections. Um, that is your very first step. And I did not know that when I was entering my product. So I had to go back in afterwards and put uh, each product under a collection. So there's a couple ways you can get to this. Um, the first way is to click over here if you look to the uh, left. Right underneath where it says dashboard, there's products. That's where you get to your product list, okay? And if you click on any uh, product name, you will get to this screen, which is the screen that you use when you are entering your information for your product. And really, you should be doing this as you're entering your product. But if you're like me and you didn't know that, you would have to go back afterwards. Um, so, um, to create uh, collections, you have to go under View All Collections, okay? And then here is all the collections that I've created. Now keep in mind when you're creating these collections, your storefront, the buttons are in rows of three. So try and keep it um, in, in threes if you can. I ended up with 13, but that's okay because I have my Z piece kind of all by itself on the bottom. So that works for me. Um, but just keep in mind, try and keep it in increments of three if you can. Okay. Um, so here is where you, this green add button to your, to the right here. Um, that's what you would click on. Okay. And then you're going to put collection title. Okay, and here is the URL that you will need once you're setting up your uh, storefront. So what I did basically is if the collection title was necklaces, I just put necklaces here. Kept it simple, okay? So you would need this whole URL, URL slash necklaces um, when you go to set it up, and I'll show you. Um, you can put description if you want. Um, you can put the position, like when you're scrolling, where you want it to fall. You want it to fall first place, second place. I didn't really do that because I just start typing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I didn't put anything else here. Um, so I'm going to cancel out of this just because so, I already created mine but you would hit save or whatever. All right, now, um, once you've created all your collections, then um, as you're adding stuff, you click in here, you can see there is all your collections. Now you can also just start typing, like if, I was, if it was a set and I start typing SE, it will narrow it down so you don't have to scroll and look. Now you can add each item uh, to multiple collections, let's say um, if it was like a necklace but it's also a set, then you would put necklace and then also set. And then you have to hit update product by the way, okay? Otherwise it does not take. So once you've added all your products to collections, okay? Then you can go over here where it says um, online store, click on that, and here is where you're actually setting up the store, okay? So <clears throat> in the about us, you can edit that, okay, you can edit or remove. These are actually pages. So if they go to your store, how many pages do you want? I just have an about us and a contact us. That's it. I kept it simple. 
because I don't want to confuse my customers. But you can add, um, let's say you want to put a page for them to sign up. Unfortunately, there's no clickable link, so that's why I didn't do it. Um, I couldn't figure out how to do a clickable link. Uh, so I just kind of left that alone. All right, and then you go into collections. Here is the other way that you could have gotten to your collections and added collections. So you can do it from your product page or from this page, okay? Now, as you can see, I've already put stuff in my collections and it's telling me how much stuff is in each collection because I've linked them to the collections, okay? Um, which you do that just by putting them in the product page. All right, now, preferences. Here's where you can set up your, um, your colors of your page. Um, homepage titles, all that. See, I put the Bling Gypsy on it. Um, I tried to change the color, but for some reason it keeps defaulting black back to black, so I left it. Um, I don't know if it's a glitch or what's going on there. All right, navigation. Okay, I kept it simple. Just the main menu, you can edit it here. Um, but the main menu has the home, the about us, and the contact pages that I showed you earlier. So just keep it simple, guys, because your customers are in a hurry. They don't have time to be looking around, okay? Now keep in mind, this storefront, the, or this online store, is not the app. Comment Sold does offer an app, but you have to be an LLC in order to get the app because Apple requires you to have an LLC to have an app. And you cannot just do Android because I asked, can you just do Android if you're not an LLC? Um, they said no, you have to get both. Um, so until you're an LLC, um, you cannot get the app, uh, which is different from your storefront, okay? Um, <clears throat> so keep that in mind. And that um, app only comes with the 149 plan, not with the $49 plan, okay? So... All right, um, banners. Banners is the very top of your storefront. And I'm gonna open my storefront just so I can show it to you guys. And by the way, this is how you get to your storefront to see what it looks like as you're working. Um, and it does take a few minutes to update. So if you don't see the changes you just made, don't panic. All right, if you go under setup right here, this right here, this is the URL to give to customers to um, sign up, okay, to the main page. But this one here, your web store URL is the one you want to give to them if, you, if they're looking to shop. Okay, so if you click on that, and it looks really ginormous on here, but it does not look like that on the phone. So here is the banner. So I... Um, my branding is this lime green, so I always use the lime green around all my graphics. And I created this button through PicMonkey. There are several free apps out there that you can use to create your buttons. Okay, guys? Um, so when you're doing the banner, make sure it's long like this. Because it's got to go across the whole top. So I basically just took my business card and put hearts and put welcome on this lime green, which is my branding color. Okay, so again, keeping it simple. All right, so that is um, the banner that we're working on right now. So the banner, um, I linked the banner to, because you can link the banner to something, or you have to link the banner to something. So I just linked it to my Blockbusters, because those are your best seller. You can link it to whatever you like, okay? Um, but I linked it to my Blockbuster collection. So the way you do that, I'm going to hit edit so I can show you, is you basically title it. Now they don't see that. They only see the banner. And then if you can select the uh, browse to select your image, that button that you just created. Okay, the graphic. And then here is where I linked it to the uh, Blockbuster URL. And then I wanted it to be position one because I wanted it on the very top. And then you save banner.
Now you can have multiple banners, so you can make another banner and put it in position two, but I think that would be confusing to the customer, so I just left one. All right, here is the very, very important part, which is your adverts, and it took me forever to figure out what the heck was an advert. <laughs> so your advert is actually um, these clickable buttons that your customers click on to shop okay so I had to create every single one of these buttons guys okay so this is again where I use pink pick monkey um, so I created blockbusters necklaces earrings bracelets rings men's kid sets because I sell my kids in sets hair accessories I created a fashion fix button to put all my fashion fix sets and singles in there um, but you can do it however you want. I created an urban. I created a clip-on earring because I have customers that only shop for clip-on earrings. So I thought that was kind of important, but that's totally you guys' call. Um, I created sets because I sell um, certain pieces when they're a perfect match, like a necklace bracelet. I sell them as a $10 set. Um, so, and... Um, you can probably even throw your fashion fix sets in here. That's totally up to you guys. And then my, my very last button is my uh, Z collections, okay? So, and you can see I put $25 on here because I wanted them to know, even though it shows you when you click on it, that it is $25. All right, so, um, so all these buttons have to be created ahead of time. And you can use PicMonkey to create these. So these are your clickable buttons. So if they were to click on Blockbusters, for instance, it would take them to the Blockbusters because it is linked to the Blockbusters, okay? And you can see it says uh, $5, the name and everything. All right, so here is where you would hit Add, okay? And you would title it. So if it's a Blockbuster button, you would title it Blockbuster or whatever you want to title it. It's up to you. You would browse and find that graphic that you just made for Blockbusters. And the URL, um, what I did is I opened the product page. And went to view collections. And then I copied from here. Let's say uh, we're doing blockbusters. So you would copy this, and then you would paste it here, okay? And then you tell it which position you want the button. So if you want that to be your very first button, then you would put one, okay? And then you would save it. I'm not going to save it because I don't need it. I've already created mine. So you would do that for every single one, okay? So then you would do your necklaces the same way. Now, if you notice, this is not what you're putting in. You're not putting in the whole thing. You're only putting in this part, okay? That's where I messed it up the first time. So you only want to put copy and paste this part, and then they will add the rest, okay? Because I had a heck of a time trying to figure that out. Um, so after you've created your collections, or your adverts is what they call them <clears throat> then you create a button and as you can see I have 13 buttons I tried to get it down to 12 but I just I was like ah eh, the heck with it <laughs> the Z piece kind of falls all by itself um, at the bottom here see right here so that's not too bad but you don't want it to have like two and then blank here um, but it does center this one. So I was like, eh, I'll leave it. Um, but I could figure out two more categories and add them somewhere, you know, here. Um, but for now, this is how it looks. And they can just click on it. Click on earrings. It should take them all the earrings. Um, so it is now shoppable, guys. Um, and then let's see what the... Um, not sure I haven't dabbled around in this email list thing but I think if the customer lists their emails it looks like it puts it here um, 
and looks like you can export it for some kind of email marketing. Um, so that is basically how you set up your um, storefront, your online store, which is right here, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to me. Or if you have any training suggestion ideas, I'm also, um, my name is Balsam, May, M-A-E, and then my last name is A-L-R-U-B-A-I-E on Facebook. If you guys want to message me for any additional questions, feel free. Um, but please leave us feedback and subscribe to our channel. I hope this was useful. Um, you guys feel free to reach out to me for any additional things that you may need.